The reason why one in four black women do not get married is because you have to attribute to that the way we value their features, the way we value them, the way we attribute m val uh, money to them. Like, like oh, what? these features won't make enough money. This is why we don't have the we. This is why we don't put them in certain job positions. This is why we don't what? market them in certain um commercials. This is why in dating apps. I think we had this conversation before you won't you'll choose who you want and you'll swipe right or swipe left on the features you think are attractive bruh he said because the reason black women aren't getting married is because their treat their features aren't profitable enough genetically white people are inferior to black people destiny what? he has a fetishization for black women you know reproduce with someone else let's say european do you agree that Genetics would be diminished. Uh, yeah, please go ahead and uh, f me over. Read me some more, dude. Would you ask me another f big question? Okay, so no, okay. You guys have me sound like a f communist here, okay? The idea that 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 people are like hyper tight. I'm not. You don't even know what the f communist is, okay? Shut up. You are reported. It's like everybody f***ing for. He called him a white supremacist when he. It's like a black supremacist. I don't even know. He's just racist. He just came on here and said, this is what he said. This is not an LFR Jojo quote. He said, white genetics are inferior. That is pure racism, bro. And it's like a whole forum of people who just, when he said that, they just acted like that was just a normal thing to say. That is racism. I forgot what the f systemic racism actually meant. It doesn't, it, like, the whole point of systemically racist structures is that they persevere and exist independent of any racial actors. Who's committing more crimes, okay? The answer to this should be black people because black people in the United States have had a history of oppression and currently are the most socioeconomically f group of people, largely broadly speaking, in the United States. Now, this breaks down among more specific lines of you, a black immigrant versus like an African-American, yeah. well, of course. However, okay, this is something that's important to, to recognize. For us to simply just hand wave all this away and to be like, oh, well, actually, all the crimes that are committed by every community is just the same. It's, it's actually just the same. It's all just like the police fudging numbers. Oh, well, in that case, well, f helping any black communities for like educational institutions or f helping anybody in terms of like better housing. Like, I guess everybody just commits crimes, right? You're losing the plot when you're getting into this world. It's like, oh, well, everybody acts him. That's obviously not the case. We know that because being socioeconomically f***ed will have a ton of negative impacts on you. And we should acknowledge this. We do acknowledge this. And so to- So if y'all don't know what's going on, basically Destiny, he's more so, I guess, uh, I don't really know what side he is. Uh, online, he's a left-leaning creator. So he's like, I guess he's in a, in a forum or a chat with a whole different group of people. And basically the host of this or the the people in this in this panel were black and racist and that's what they're going on he's a liberal like this is not a conservative creator he's like i think left-leaning and the fact that he has to fight this level of racism is just it's not really on ticket with him but let's get into it walk all of this back and be like oh well you know everybody commits the same amount of crime at the end of the day it's like you've lost the plot if we blame everything on race instead of taking a broader look at things and then we implement policies that are along those lines we end up one hurting the people that we need to help and then two we don't have any idea what we Wait. actually need to do in society to help anybody yep and he is a leftist creator this is and this is why i tell y'all i don't really try to push a narrative i really don't because I don't know if any side is more right than the other. I do know some things are just insanely wrong and some things just aren't right. And that, and he's he's not, he's a liberal. So this is crazy to even watch. White people, genetically, white people are inferior to black people. That's just a fact, genetically. Which is why there have been certain barriers and things put in place to systematically oppress black people in comparison and given a hey, wait does nobody care about this a privilege this and racist. advantage to white people that's just a, a natural okay. fact ethically they wait. are inferior wait, what? 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 Do you wait Do the you fuck on know? hold on what i would say but i would say that um obviously if, if wait what are we talking about basis, right now yeah i would say that native americans would be absolutely just as compatible but I mean, uh, yeah, I, I would not say that they would understand the black experience in America, no. Not God, I want to get on this panel so bad. Hold on, hey, fuck. Hey, all these wait, give me a second. Hey, Destiny, do you want to be moved in? 
Um, yeah, whenever there's room. Because he just said that white people are genetically inferior and nobody said anything. And mind you, it's white people in this chat. It's not just black people who are who are so woke and so crazy that they just hate. No, it's white people in this panel and they just acted like what he said was just normal or what it, or was right. And this is the problem in the world, bro. People are openly racist. They are openly ignorant. They are openly wrong. And they just come online and say whatever. And it's not right. It's not right at all, bro. Okay, let me just ask <laughs> about uh, how that can be done. And then I will get priority. that done for you. Yeah. God, I feel so bad. I'm like cutting in line. Yeah. But it is. Oh my God, I feel like such a this is like, this is white privilege. I think, guys, I'm getting white privilege. <laughs> pause, 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 pause. We're pausing right now. Everyone be quiet. Um, so, uh... Are they gonna kick somebody uh, off? We are, oh, uh, no. letting, um, our friend yes. Destiny in. Oh, no. Um, this is such someone? a dick move. Um, it's not personal, but someone's gonna get bounced, all right? Oh, God, Absolutely I feel not so personal. awkward. Don't worry about it. Um, anyone volunteer? The reason why one for black women do not get married is because you have to attribute to that the way we value their features, the way we value them, the way we attribute m value, uh, money to them. Like, like, oh, what? these features won't make enough money. This is why we don't have the we. This is why we don't put them in certain job positions. This is why we don't what? market them in certain um commercials. This is why we don't. This is why in dating apps, I think we had this conversation before. You won't. You'll choose who you want, and you'll swipe right or swipe left on the features you think are attractive. Even height is a a a, a is a. So he said, bruh. <laughs> he said because the reason black women aren't getting married. Is because their treat their features aren't profitable enough, and then he tied their marriage rates to them not being hired for certain jobs. Okay, I I don't even know how. You, okay, okay. Indication of what you're attracted to. We're talking about dating and marriage. Well, now this is what I'm saying. You're allowing culture to dictate, and I think I wanted to say this before, a long time ago, uh, you're allowing culture to dictate your preference. You are not allowing yourself to have, you. there's a lack of critical thinking there. Well, you're not saying, okay, you're not, uh, you can acknowledge the reality, but don't do it because uh, of the, you know, of what is, what is, is. Racism, like I said, the word term race is fairly new. It, it has actually muddled our ability to come together and then it's not even it's not even consistent amongst what you consider black you can consider multiple a multitude of things to be black but specifically i think for this conversation we should focus on african-american african-american is very specific all right even though within our community there's different things it's very specific what we're talking about the black american experience now i'm saying to Bro. fanatic fanatic yeah you can choose to act acknowledge that there is a reality that black women are deemed less than and thus um in results they are not chosen okay but do that from your own conclusions don't do that just because you you've now ed educated yourself on what culture is saying and not because you're not dating culture you're dating that in individual you don't know what wait, experience can you, stop you don't know okay wait explain this yeah, to me I'm, I'm I'm you, a you, you, I'm a I know, idea of fanatic. I know, I know. I'm, I'm trying to ask. I'm trying to ask you a question. A clarifying question. I'm asking you a clarifying question because you've said this All like right. four times, and every time I've missed it. I'm gonna keep saying it. Okay. So, Wait, so now I'm asking you to clarify so that you can, or you can just talk past me, and I'll just ignore you. Which one do you yeah, want? Go ahead, I'm go not, ahead. I don't understand. So I'm not asking you a clarifying question. Go ahead, my brother. Okay, no, no, guys, guys, guys. Good. Yeah. Ask question. Ask question, Thank please. You. And then we're gonna move on because I got other people I'm, I'm trying to let in, all right? Um, and if not, we're gonna slim down the panel. I will toss you out. Gotcha. All right, hurry up. Now, what do you mean when you keep saying I'm letting culture dictate? What, what does that mean exactly? What do you mean? You're, you're allowing the the issues of culture to, every time you say you every time you, you you're very careful with your words you're very good with your words you always say that the way america is treating us the way the media has portrayed us that you always allude to what culture and media and the 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 system the institutions have done because when you're talking about marriage specifically and how I don't even know how this came up, but how the rate of which black women are getting married, that is kind of a cultural thing because, and I don't know what this guy said, so I'm not defending him, but I'm just giving you my perspective because usually people marry within their own culture and race 
if you whether you want to admit it or not, kind of falls under culture in a lot of cases. It's not really that black and white where if you're <laughs> that was a good play on words, but it's not really that you know black and white where if you're black you're in this culture or you're white in this culture. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it, in a lot of cases. Um, if you're around a lot of people, a lot of them may be similar to your race, or maybe not, but y'all are really in the same culture in most cases. So when you're talking about marriage and how, um, in your, in your example, black women aren't getting married, that is a cultural thing because if they're in a culture, you need to figure out why the men of their culture are not marrying them. That is a cultural issue. So when you try to bring in systemic racism on why black women aren't getting married uh it's just kind of weird to me um racism could possibly play a role in that but it's really a cultural issue if you're bringing if you're saying it's an issue what i'm saying is do these women want to get married if they do want to get married then why aren't they getting married that's the first question do they want to get married if they don't want to get married then it's not even an issue but yes all in all it's a cultural thing to us therefore you are making a stance to it's not of like of love it's kind of up and then i'm not i'm not saying that's if you're doing out of love that's you but there's a lot of people who say i need to make a political stance and i need to protect my community thus i must align and marry a black person because it is to the betterment of if there's oh, well, I'm saying if you're only he's doing that by it's, it's well, that's what I'm saying. Dating, legendary. Dating you're, and legendary. Marriage. You're next any which way. Legendary yeah. and Steven. All right, so finish dating your point. Dating and marriage is inherently nuanced. If you're allowing culture, if you're allowing family to dictate your decisions in the nuance, you are thus limiting and restricting yourself. If you choose to do so, it is your choice, right? It's good for you if you say so, but I'm saying you're, I'm attacking the idea and saying it's not inherently good. In fact, it's against the definition of love. And well, it's inherently real. It's not good or bad. It's just reality. Like people usually marry or date within their culture. But like I said, race, it could be a part of culture, but race itself is not culture. Like me being black, me being African-American, no. African. but me being black man is not necessarily my culture i'm just black but you can be a black man and you can be an african-american man and you grow up in a predominantly white or a predominantly latino area and that would be your culture if that's what you're around that's what i'm saying so when you're saying marriage um doesn't tie into culture no it it does it just doesn't tie directly or exactly into race but it does tie into culture there's several pieces of love. There's agape love. There's Amalia. Uh, there's uh, there's the familiar love. That's what I'm saying. You're against. You're not. Po politics isn't about love. Politics is about power. You're not out here. What? Economics is not about love. It's about power. Come on now. If you're gonna get into dating and marriage, let's be more loving. You were out here saying before that uh, love, love because we're focusing more on love. Uh, marriage is now failing. I'm like, what? No, it's because they're allowing us to love each other. More people are allowed to get to you. You forget. But marriage is not all about love. It's about love, but it's also about your values as a human, because that's what's really going to be be strong. Because at the end of the day, you can grow to love somebody or you can grow to hate somebody. But your values is like the fundamental basement of your love, bro. That's how people look at your culture that's why the people look at it. are you a christian uh do you believe this economic value do you believe that do you believe this do you want to go to school here those are your values so yes marriage is about values as much as it's about love that's just and i don't even understand how you're a grown man and you don't and you're trying to pretend like it's not but it, that it was illegal to have interracial marriage in the 60s so i i push everybody in this panel and in the chat go read the, right, the get the to the Virginia point night. Steven, please. I don't see a problem with anybody acknowledging the society and the world that we live in and in, in, um, basing our decisions off of that. That's it. That's all I got to say. I'm willing to just listen right here. I'm, I'm surprised. Okay. All right, Steven. I'm learning. I'm just curious. Wait, do, this sounds like such a depressing way to pick a relationship. It's like I'm imagining, like if we were to go by I'm any, not depressed. if we were going I'm by, not depressed. if I we love were black going, women, I love black people and I love my people. I'm not depressed at all. Thank you.
Uh, okay. I mean, <laughs> I've heard a lot of white people say they love white people and they only want to be with white people. But I, I like, I we can argue whether or not there's a difference. I'm just saying, like, the idea of like identifying like your love interest with like a struggle sounds like such an yeah. unbelievably <laughs> sad way to pick a relationship. Like, I'm trying to that's imagine applying this to. And, that is what I interpret from it. That's what that's what I'm talking about. Yes, that's why I'm speaking right now. Yeah. So like, if we were to identify any other group of like people that have experienced like a struggle or a trauma, like I can't imagine telling them that like, oh, well, you should like. I think it's probably good to only date other people that have like these types of experiences. Like if you were like abused as a child, like you should only date other people that were abused as children because they're the only people that understand you. Like I don't know. Like that that mentality just seems Patty. really strange to me. It's something that I've always thought was weird about like the super pro black um creators online and i'm not saying that it's done wrong being pro you're pro whatever but they'd be like yeah it's the struggle of the black community it's the struggle of of what we have to go through this is why i love you so you love me because we're both struggling or you love me because we're both going through hard times so that means if we stop going through hard times or if we stop struggling the love that you have for me or for our community or our people will also cease to exist because it's rooted in struggle, it's rooted in pain. And when your love or when your mindset is rooted in pain, you're gonna always have to need that pain. And this is why these creators, no matter how good life gets, no matter how successful they even get or their community gets, it won't matter because their identity for love or for acceptance is always rooted in struggle and pain. That's petty, and you're petty. It, it, it is, it is. Petty. <laughs> what is petty? Let me respond, let me respond, let me respond really quickly. Let me respond really quickly. Petty, and you're petty. Let me, here, that's a, so, uh, that's a complete mischaracterization, and I feel like a few people have made this statement, I actually wrote that down in my notes, and I was going to address it. Go for right? it. So, like, first off, this whole belief, right, like that, um, like, as he said it, like, you're inherently, like, not using love, like, you're abandoning love, and you're, like, when you're choosing your partner, and I think that's 100% a mischaracterization, because while I look at these characteristics, that doesn't mean that literally every person who falls within this is automatically compatible. There's a bevy of different difference, uh, of different things. I'm going to be looking at, like, agreeableness. I am going to look at, look for a physical attraction. I am also going to look for um, compatibleness as far as our virtue and our, and, and our, and our moral systems. I'm going to look at um, whether a person is, like, um, intellectually stimulating, whether a person is musically inclined. I think it's an incredibly important thing. Music is one of the, like, the top three most important Fucking things. Fucking luck. What? So I'm going to be looking at all of these. You're going to be looking at if someone is musically inclined for marriage? That's kind of weird. Like, people think marriage is like a Build-A-Bear, bro. Like, you... <laughs> When you say, yeah, you have to be musically inclined, you have to be a world-class musician to marry them. Like, that's not even about values. That's just kind of, I don't know, bro. That's just kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't know different factors now some things you're going to eventually have to compromise on uh but at the end of the day you do look at like all of these different various factors in considering that and love is obviously going to be a required component now you can fall in love you can look and be exclusive I'm, I'm sorry you can be selective on your dating partners and on choosing who you fall in love with you can do that so I, that doesn't mean now that i'm not going to use love as a thing it's not like i'm looking at it from a basis of depressed i have the depression i'm not a depressed person in any capacity whatsoever i'm actually incredibly happy i'm also super duper thriving um i talk about that all the time on my stream there's been a complete transformation so it's not a, it's not from a place of depression whatsoever it's from a it's an intellectual understanding that a person that's going to be able to recognize my experience and the thing that I'm going through and the thing that my children and my progeny will be going through, the, the, that person is going to probably be someone who has experienced it themselves. Now, that doesn't mean that the per I'm going to be looking for a person who's bogged down by the system, because I also believe in the ability of the individual to rise above the system that is designed to oppress them. And yeah. I don't think, um, I, 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 I'm not going to advocate for, oh, just everyone pull yourselves up for your by your bootstraps, but what I will say is, I'm going to look for a person who also while re while recognizing the struggle that we're going through also recognizes that we have a responsibility to embed the drive to thrive in our children but this is kind of gaslighting yourself because what if you're not going through a struggle you're just going to tell yourself any ways that you're just going to always go through a struggle and that your children and your children's children will just always struggle and what is this this is kind of weird for like if you have like a a racially ambiguous family or let's say you're a black person who was adopted by um, a different race of people or let's say you are a black person or a white person who married a different race 
are they are you trying to like invalidate their marriage because they don't relate to each other's struggles? That's just kind of that's just kind of weird. And even in a relationship, regardless, you're not going to relate to all their struggles. So there are struggles that your partner goes through that you will never relate to. And there are struggles that you go through that they'll never relate to. That doesn't mean that y'all can't love each other or be there for one another. But you're trying to allude to, I guess, the systemic racism in, a, in America being so strong, so, so aggressive that this is the one struggle that another race just can't relate to. As if, if you're in a interracial relationship that white people don't also go through stuff and they're not facing their own problems. Like, that's what I'm saying, man. Everyone has a struggle. So when you're trying to invalidate, you know, mixed relationships, it's just kind of, it's kind of weird, bro. I'm not going to lie. Um, and that, that drive to thrive is not going to be something that's passive. It has to be aggressive because the system is aggressively working against us. Again, this is not depression. Yeah, but none of these well, things I mean, are unique to black people, right? I'm sure you I can would, find white people. Yes, they, I just said this. I just said this. Struggle is not unique to black people. It's not unique to the black identity. And they're, they think they're being pro-black by saying like, by saying like yeah the struggle it is not a uniquely black feature specifically african-american feature bro it is not i promise i promise african-americans are not the only people on earth who struggle i promise we are not the only people in this country who struggle i put it on everything and that's one thing you can get from me we are not so when you're looking for love and you're looking for this certain relationship with struggle it's just it's not accurate bro Everyone struggles. 99% of Americans struggle, bro. Oh, no, they're history not. History no, they're history absolutely history not. History what are you talking about? Come on, Destiny. No, don't do that. No, 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 Wait, no, 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 no. The degree, the degree of marginalization that, that, that African Americans have experienced in this country. Why people shadow slavery? Wait, not, uh, hold on, first of all, no one here is a chattel slave, so I don't know why the fuck you're bringing that up. Number one, okay? Number two, no, no, number two, no, 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 number two. No, 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 number two. Okay, well, uh, Go ahead, Tom. Oh, my God. Steven, come on. Steven, come on. Don't come on me. Wait, hold on. We can't have a modern day discussion about like race and dating yeah, well, if you're just going to screech like chattel slavery like it means anything. That has nothing to do with this conversation. All right? I was going to say the same thing. It does. It very much has. So that has it has. Like, it has <laughs> It has plenty to do with the conversation because if you want to start talking about our cultural experiences, you, I don't know if you're one None of, of you have a cultural experience. Well, I'm talking my ass. So, Maybe so, somebody I'm here wasn't, like, was a, like, 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 what do you mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you. Great. Um, all right. So, so no, respond. Steven, you can respond back. All right, Fanatic, I also want to respond because he came Go ahead, Fanatic. So yeah, no, no, no. It's not. No, no I'm not going to have immediate experience. But the idea that, like, uh, like for, first off, it would be my great grandmother would have that experience. It was literally only three generations ago for her. What? Um, and I would say my great grandmother was not a slave. <laughs> she was not a slave. She did not have experience with race. I mean, well, I'm not going to say racism. I'm not going to say racism. She did not have experience with slavery because she wasn't a slave. And yeah, you're trying to allude to, I guess, black people just having this such uniquely racist existence that no other group of people can ever relate to bro it's just i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it a bug bro other people have problems too and when you look at dating there are interracial relationships and they still have problems trust me they can still relate to each other trust me they they are still people they still have their own unique challenges bro <laughs> I, I still can't believe this discussion is like, you know, a real thing in 2024 we're entering, but whatever. They, they would have that experience and that that culture informed a lot of the culture today to act as if the, the uh, to act as if the culture the, that, that African-Americans today are completely removed from the experience of slavery. And again, it's not just slavery. It would be the continual yeah, uh, and cultural of oppression. All yeah, of those okay, yeah. And, and of course, so all those things are very, very much like culturally factors. Yeah, of course they are. Sure. I just the idea that it's like that is like such an important thing to you so that, that it's going to like inform it is the, an important the race thing to us. It's a part of our history. That's OK. Congratulations. OK, you get applause in the yeah. chat. OK, the idea that that right. thing would be so important to you that that's going to be like one of the defining and like one of the lines that you draw around people you date just comes off as so incredibly Wait, that's, unbelievable that's, that's, to me. 
I would, see, I would say that way that's the only thing. Sure, I would agree with you. If my, if my only criteria was just to have to be no, 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 hold on, I, hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not saying that that's your only criteria. I'm saying that if that would be a line for you. So, for instance, if you were to tell me every single thing that you just said, and you said that's why I think it would be like really nice if I had a partner that also shared this perspective, then yeah, I would agree with you. But if you're gonna tell me this is a line, I will like I think I absolutely need to date a black person, and anybody that's not black is automatically not even considered a dating partner because they don't have ex that perspective. That's the thing that I'm attacking. I just think that's like a really extreme and kind of sad way to approach Wait, both your life and relationships. Not this is this is so this is not this for you to understand. understand. Le legendary. Uh, legendary, you want to say something? That's not yeah, I'm saying it's not for him to understand. You can't understand it. Would you say I the same thing? Would you say to would you, can't would you wait? It. Would you it's say not for you to sure. understand? Would you say the same thing to a white person that says they will only date white people? No, I wouldn't so, care. So, 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 wait, I just want to hear you. Wait, he said that's said, their business. That's fine. Okay, I, so personally, I'm a fan of not going back to the segregated dating, but I, I mean, at least you're consistent. Yeah, but, I'm, I'm but sure. The same thing. I'm, sure. The same thing. I'm sure because you probably fetishize uh, black women. I don't oh, fetishize. God. Them, first of all, <laughs> first of all, first of all, if anybody's fetishizing, if anybody's fetishizing, if anybody's fetishizing black women here, it's you. First of all, you no fun. We don't know. We're talking about oh, why is that so that too. Yeah, history. Why is that so You're the one in here saying you wouldn't date anybody that's not black. So if anybody's fetishizing black people, here it's you, my dude. Them no, 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 I can not criticize something that's a part that's uh, <laughs> that that's my counterpart. It's called it's called it's called it's called, it's called he owns black women, bro. He owns black people. It's called self lust. That's god. what it's called. Oh god, I want to I want to jump in here so bad, but I'm gonna let other people do it. I'm gonna people do it. If if I'm a black man, I came from a black woman. It's called self lust. First of all, just because you're a black man doesn't mean you came from a black woman. Okay, that's a weird thing to say, right? We we acknowledge. Do we acknowledge? Do we acknowledge do we, or, I don't know if mixed race people don't exist here. I don't know what the fuck panel. Well, I know it said all black everything, but I didn't know we were that extreme. I'm talking about me. I'm talking about me. Okay. I'm talking about me, Destiny. I this level of dehumanization of another race is just crazy, bro. And it's crazy because there are actually white people in this chat who are okay with what he's saying, but. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. My, my camera's actually running out of time. I don't have a limited camera space. But anyways, that was my and I'll see you next